This video of a girl being thrown to the ground at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New Haven has divided a community. And tonight, protesters are rallying around both the officer and that teenage girl. It comes at the same time as news that the officer has been cleared. News 8's Jason Newton is live in the middle of the action. Jason. And in Keith, the protesters wrapped up and have gone home, but it was a very active scene out here today after word spread that the officer in question had been cleared of any wrongdoing in the controversial takedown of the handcuffed teenage girl. But the story is far from over as the damage in, is done and the city is left divided with people retreating to their corners and shouting back and forth. A police department needs the trust and support of its community. And a community needs its police department. But it appears that a deep division has surfaced between rank and file New Haven police, the community, and the city's top officials. Dozens of police and their supporters stormed a press conference inside City Hall demanding to be heard. Coming from City Hall and the Chief's office, we felt we were alone on this. The police union is upset over actions taken by the mayor and police chief when they apologized to 15 year old Tiandria Cornelius and put officer Josh Merzinski on desk duty while an internal affairs investigation looked into the hard takedown Smerzinski used on the teenager. Do you feel like this is dividing the city at all? That's possible. I mean, we still have a job to do. We're here to protect the citizens of New Haven, obviously. But you know what? We re really felt we were abandoned on this. Smerzinski was exonerated of any wrongdoing, but that wasn't enough for Esserman, who says the department has a lot of soul searching to do, and it wasn't enough for those who support Smerzinski either. The department will take a hard look at itself. It already has of what we could do different and what we could do better. How do you think this rift can be mended? And that's hard to say right now. That's hard to say. We're talking, and it's hard to say because we feel totally disrespected. While Esserman did his best to appease both sides, outside City Hall, hundreds of people faced off in dueling protest, those supporting Smerzinski and his actions, and those from the community who say police went too far. We need to hear each other. We need to see each other. We need to know how we go forward here today. And now Officer Smerzinski will return to normal duty come Monday. Chief Esserman says he will look into police training and even possibly banning the use of that controversial leg sweep takedown that was seen in the video and set off this entire firestorm. We're live outside New Haven City Hall tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.